Hello and welcome to James Makes. I finally added a little more professional professional on my uh, little setup here. I now have a fade in and fade out when I stop recording. For today's video, we are now texturing this bad boy. By the way, the concept again is in the description if you want to follow this guy on ArtStation. Amazing concept right here. And we are going to start painting this bad boy. So uh, this time I'm actually going to commentate myself painting this i did a little bit on the last one uh, but i decided you know what i like i like commentating on these painting stuff so i'm gonna unwrap this bad boy and i'm also going to just uh like start painting him i do have uh a plugin called uku paint or usu paint i don't know how you pronounce it but it's basically uh like substance painter on blender and it allows you to have a just a way better experience when you're painting. The only problem with it is that it does not allow you to uh, it does not allow you to use it on viewport mode. It's only on view shade, right? Uh, oh, no, on material preview. It only allows you to see it in material preview. So that's the only problem with it. So if you if you have a fairly weak PC and you can't handle being on material preview a lot of the time, then it might not be the best option. But for the most part, it works. So Okay, so now we have the materials linked. This is just the, to test the UVs and when we are unwrapping it. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to unwrap it now. Uh, I didn't actually add seams yet, so that's probably why it's bugging out all over the place. And also the origins are a little yucky. But uh, that's fine. Because what I can do, I can just apply this and I can... Oh, wait, no. That was really dumb. Uh, I can apply this origin and then I can do another mirror. Or is it Z? There you go. Because apparently the rotation is like weird. Uh, these, sure. Anything that can be halved, I'll just have them. Because why not? Have. Okay. Uh, this one can be halved. This one, this one, this one. There you go. Okay, so now it's optimized in some capacity anyway there you go so the, so the only ones that are not halved are the wraps because the wraps will have custom shadows on them and i want them to be you know fairly prominent um so now uh let's just unwrap these uh let's just actually take a look and see what does it even look like just on the reg so let's just unwrap see how that looks actually uh let's turn this to texture mode God, that's a hideous unwrap. Okay. Uh, so, so far, the densities are way too high on this. Usually what you want is you want to have an even spread all across the, the thing. Um, so, so far, that's not the case. It's not, it's not looking like that. In fact, I'm a little bit lazy. Can I just mark UV? I probably can't. Mark UV, right? I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, folks. It kind of looks fine. There's a bit here that's a little cringe. But it's not bad. <laughs> I might just go for it. Fuck it. We'll do it. All right, we'll do it. Yeah, that's that's how we unwrap. <laughs> Okay, so usually what you're supposed to do is you're unwrapping this manually so that you can get proper deformations. This looks fine. Like, this is actually not that bad. So I think I'm actually just going to go through with it. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and start painting, which is the fun part. Uh, so let's see. How do I do this? Uh, I do need to set this up first, right? So I need to set up Uku Paint. Please work. If it doesn't work, then I'm a bit screwed. Because I am in 4.0. So, it could just break on me. No, it did. Fuck. Oh, no. 
Ukupe doesn't work on Blender 4.0. All right, I have to go back. I'll be right back. I'll go back to uh, Blender 3.6. All right, we're back. We now have the gun in 3.6. Uh, let's just go ahead and save that. And now, if I open here, the menu? What the fuck? Excuse me? <laughs> the menu's gone? Uh, Blender? <laughs> Did it just crash or something? What happened? Maybe I need to switch viewports. Okay. Switch the viewport again. No, it's just gone! <laughs> okay, this is definitely a bug. Why is it not showing my options here when I press N? Okay, maybe I just need to refresh. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, this is a bit strange. I think I, bo I broke Blender. Um, it's not showing. Like, at all. There's just nothing. So... That's a little strange. It, it, like, I restarted Blender. It still doesn't show up. So... I think we're just gonna go with painting this regularly. Because I did also find a new method of doing this. I, uh, I, I found out how to paint on it a little bit nicer, I guess. Weirdly. Um, I, I, I looked up uh, one of the lead Riot Games artists in, for hand-painted assets. And the way she does them is how you would usually paint uh, just regular paintings. Which she does a grayscale to color method. Which now makes so much sense as to why their values are so good. Because they literally just paint in black and white. That's makes, that makes so much sense. I don't know why it didn't cross my mind to use that. And then they color gradiented it in like a program like Photoshop. I'm using Krita, which is basically fine. So that's the method I'm going to try today. I'm going to try to do a gradient map by basically applying values. And then let's see how well that looks. Because I also noticed on the leaves, I did add a color map or color gradient map on it. It looks so much better. Like, it's just nice. It, like, the colors are more consistent. So, I'm going to do that and uh, hopefully it looks better. Alright, so let's make a new one. A uh, gun. Let's do that. Uh, we probably don't need an alpha. And let's color that with this color just as a base. And let's go. Alright. Actually, we wanted it to be in black and white. Fuck. <laughs> I completely forgot. Uh, but I think I'm going to just color it with black. And then later on, I'm going to color it with color maps and stuff. That's the plan. That's the plan. Okay. So, let's go. Uh, actually, I think I'll just go here because we already unwrapped this. Uh, I'm also using a screen tablet for anyone who's wondering. So, I can get it more accurately. Okay, let's follow the concept here. Uh, so, this workflow basically relies on values, right? Uh, which probably means, again, I probably should have just painted this in white. But, well, you know what? We, we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about that. Uh, we're just gonna paint with black. And, actually, I just found something... Can I do this? Holy shit, I can. I can do that. Hold the phone. Why is it... Wait, what the fuck? Why is this? Okay, my normals are fucked up. <laughs> my normals aren't working the way they're supposed to. There you go. Whoa, what the fuck? I have to paint that upside down, which is not fun. Anyways, man, I that sucks. Uku Paint just basically broke everything. That's a bit annoying. Uh, I need my wireframe. Like, just a tad. I need it to be there, but I just need, like, a general shape. Um, but yeah, Uku Paint is super useful if you can get your hands on it. Um, I used it on the tree. So, it's so good. It's basically a substance. Like, it's so good. Like, uh, I, I, I did not know why I haven't used it. Oh my god, my menus are also broken! Fuck! I have to use shift space, which I'm what I'm supposed to use anyway. 
But god damn it. I like using that. <laughs> I like that. Um Damn it. He's really testing my blender knowledge here now that my everything is just broken. But you know what? That's what we do. That's what artists do. We adapt. We're like bare grills. We survive. Okay. Uh, we painted this all gray now, which is what you're supposed to do. And um, I think I need to adjust the margins a bit because it's like bleeding a tad. So I'm going to add... I'm going to add some margins on this. Pack Islands. Uh, what the fuck? Okay. Weird. Uh, pack Islands. Let's add like a 0.1 margin on it because 0.01 might work. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's a little bit bigger. I think it's a little too big, actually. I, pack Islands... I would like divide that by two. I only want it to be a little bit, like, of a margin because you do want a fairly big margin in case it bleeds. There you go. Alrighty. All right, this one. Cool. So now we have everything uh, painted the grayscale. Let us paint the shadows in. Uh, I just realized as well that this this is going through the wood. Fuck. Well, you know what? I'm going to take some creative liberty. <laughs> I completely just did not even realize that's going through the wood. Fuck. That would have made it so much easier. Okay, whatever. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'm gonna make it just a regular skull with like a dark outline on it, and that should be good. Okay. Uh, let's do draw, and then we're gonna go. Whoa. Okay. I forgot I had that on. Okay. Uh, mix. Go here. Okay. Le let's now start painting. We're 12 minutes into this video, and we're actually painting. Jesus. All right. Save. Uh, I also should save all images, just in case. Okay. Okay. So this is just... Oh, come on! My normals are fucked! Is it my normals, or is it just because I'm painting on the wrong side? I think it's because I'm painting on the wrong side. What? Oh, because I'm not painting the skull, dummy. Uh... There? The fuck? Um, excuse me? There you go. Jesus Christ, the normals on Blender. Normals. Normal, normal. Uh, maybe I should go studio. It's just too strong. The specular lighting is just way too strong. I think, yeah, no specular lighting probably works better. Okay, so this is gonna be dark. That's just a fact. So we'll just make that dark. This will also be dark. That looks weird. I don't know why that's like that. Uh, there you go. And then... Uh, what else does it need to be in shadow? Probably like just a hint here. Like just a... I wish there was like a gradient tool like in weight painting, but in texture paint. That would be hype. I think there is. I just cannot be bothered to set that up. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, okay. And then I'm gonna shade this in a little more. Uh, I'm also gonna have to, like, add in, like, the slots and the teeth later. And also, this little fella has like an eyebrow. So I'm gonna have to sculpt that in later. Okay. I got the general marks of it done. So let's just uh, shape that with white. The, the top highlight parts. So this is like the things that are... 
gonna be lighted up. Uh, what the fuck is that? Excuse to me? Uh, this is what happens when you're UV, uh, smart UV unwrap. Fuck. This looks like cringe. This looks cringe. Oh, fuck me. Alright, well. Fuck. I think I need to unwrap this again. God damn it. This is what happens when you take shortcuts. You literally kick yourself in the ass and this is what happens. Alright. Let's just see if, uh, if, it, if it's so prominent that it breaks everything. If it breaks everything, then I need to actually just fully unwrap this again, which is so cringe. But whatever. Whatever. I was, I was memeing anyway. I was like shortcutting the fuck out of this so it's uh it's fine i'll do it the normal way grandma fuck it is bleeding god damn it all right i need to actually just reset <laughs> it's looking kind of good though i ain't gonna lie like if you look at it uh here probably it'll look a little better let's remove the specular because it practically this is gonna be fully hand painted there you go yeah, we're, we're, we can get there. It's just that we need to unwrap it properly because that's what we didn't do. We didn't unwrap it properly because I'm a lazy fuck. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's just let's just unwrap this properly. Let's not dilly dally. I should have just unwrapped this properly. That was just my bad. Me being a good, not a good blender Samaritan blender artist. Okay, uh, I think the process for this is just I need to select the eyes here, right? I need to select the eyes and then add a seam. No, add a seam here. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck? Wait, that bitch is not connected? What do you mean? It is connected. What the hell? Why is it not flowing? I think it's just my fucked up topology. Oops. Oops. This is what happens when you have... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna fix the eye. God damn it. This is what happens, you know? You, I, I now now have to fix every possible problem here because of course I need to. No, oh, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> uh, let's do connect here. Just to make it a topology even. And another one right there. It's like right on top. Right there. Okay. And all the way there. Bang a -rooski. And we are good. Smoothen that out a bit. We do need to, uh, we do need that to be like in the skull. What the fuck? Excuse me. Oh, did I have like a some disembodied eyelid? What what's happening? Oh, it's the in the in part of the thing. Ah, oh, fuck me. God damn it. This is why you add a solidify modifier instead of this bullshit. Um. Ah, oh, fuck! The menus are fucked too! What happened? Blender! God damn it! It broke! Everything broke! I don't have any access to my menus! Ah, oh, fuck. This is so awful. I think it's because I went from 4.0 to 3.6. And I guess that's just a, a bug. You know what? I need to come back to 4.0. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I am now in 4.0, my beloved. And uh, we will now unwrap this beast. Um, so now the topology is good. There you go. That's what it's supposed to do. So mark that seam. And then I'm going to mark the seam here. I think. Is that proper? I think so. Because I don't want space there. Um, mark that as a seam. Flatten the shit out of this. Maybe I need to put this in the thing so that it's not super seen, you know. There you go. Uh, is there any other part here? I guess this part is also fucked. God damn. Uh,
Okay. Uh, this one should be fairly simple, yeah? Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold the phone. Ah, oh, just to saw. Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? It's connected to there for some reason. Fuck. Uh. Well, this is just stupid. This, 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 uh, this, this edge just doesn't work. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. There you go. That makes more sense. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Do I even need to unwrap that? I don't think I need to unwrap that. I think that's just good. Uh, let's just unwrap this and see how this looks. I probably should use the UV, uh, UV. I lost it. Great. <laughs> I lost the image. Uh, new, untitled, color grid. There you go. Okay. Does this look even? It's a bit squished here. But I think it actually is fine. I think it's good. Hmm, actually... Nah, I want it to be flat. Now looking at it. Uh, I want this to be laying flat. So marks... I'm, I'm just gonna do the same process that I did as the last one. So just do this. Do this. And then... Do this. Unwrap. That should be it, yeah? What are these little crunched up bits? I don't know where these are. Because, like, is it these? It are! It, it, it are! <laughs> it is these. Cringe. Uh, why, though? Wait, why? Is my topology this bad? What happened? Oh, it is this bad. Oh my god. Um... Why is it like that? Jesus Christ. Holy shit. I really fucked this one up, did I? Uh... Okay. That doesn't make sense. Um... This one is how many? One, two? So just two. Or wait, no. It's like one, two, and then this one is one, two. You know, I promised that this would be texturing, and uh, it looks like we are stuck in UV hell for now. This is what I want AI to take from me, please. Please, some genius, make an unwrapping AI. Holy fuck. I don't care if you... Grab <laughs> it's gonna this is gonna be really bad out of context. I don't care if you grab if you pirate models that are professionally unwrapped just so that we can get enough data to freaking unwrap this with an AI. Please please just get us an AI, an AI unwrap that works better. Please. I know that Z Z remesh is pretty much there, but god damn it, bring it to Blender. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Bring Z remesher to Blender. I don't wanna go to ZBrush to remesh shit. And also it's not even like it's not like proper topology. Like it's like just to make it less dense, so it doesn't really it's not proper uh topology. Or uh UV unwrap. Or read the apology. What the fuck am I saying? Anyways, I think that should be good. I'm gonna just separate this, I think? Yeah. Right? Nope. Why did I select that? Uh, I'm gonna separate this, mark as a seam, and then unwrap, right? Okay, now it's laying a lot flatter. There you go. It's a lot more even. And uh, this one, you don't really need to worry about the inside because, you know, it's just black gonna be... It's gonna be black anyway, but whatever. Uh, let's go with the gun! Alright, the gun. The gun is fine. The gun doesn't really have anything. This one doesn't have any... anything, is it? No, it doesn't really have any. Ooh, it does have this, which is a little odd. 
Yeah, it has this. I think it's this uh, extension. This little, this little part needs to be separated, I think. And does it connect? It doesn't. Okay, let me just disconnect that. Mark as the same. And then we... Uh, how do I do this? I think I can just split this in half, right? This will make it a little bit easier. Uh, mark a same. Unwrap. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I think I fucked it up even more, which is a bit annoying. Um, hang on a second. Okay, I'm, I might have not done this properly. Okay, let's just clear seam. Uh, hmm. How do I unwrap this? That works. It's a big little there. And then unwrap. Oop. Unwrap. Okay, so now it's doing something. It's not unwrapping from that point. Honestly, I mean, it's it's good enough. I think. Maybe. Maybe I just need to split it again. It's like right here. This is probably the worst apology, like the worst unwrapping you've ever seen. <laughs> if, if someone's like a professional and they're looking at this, they're like, holy shit, this is the worst unwrap I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, that looks okay. This looks fucked up, but I think that's the most we're really gonna get out of that. Okay, so if, if in doubt, split it into four. I think that's a pretty good rule. Okay. Okay. Uh, everything else seems fine. This, does this need any unwraps? This does need an unwrap, god damn it. Uh, how do you unwrap? What? Oh, because it doesn't have any seams. Oh, well that's easy. I think I, I, I made this like a... Like a cylinder? Okay, that's not good. <laughs> uh, right, 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 right. Okay, I need to remove these faces. And then... And then it should unwrap fine, right? Yeah, there you go. That's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like a flat piece of paper. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do for these other stuff. Man, I'm literally 30 minutes in and we've just been doing unwrapping. This is so bad. I know I should have just done it. You know what? I'm gonna make it... I'm gonna make it a mission statement. From here on out, I will not use Smart UV Project unless... I have a very good reason to do so, okay? If it's just for the memes, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna just do it properly. I'm gonna unwrap it properly because fuck me, I'm just like too lazy, but here we are, right? We ended up in a situation where I wasted a bunch of time and now the episode is practically ruined. <laughs> ruined. This episode that everybody watches, obviously. Um, let's unwrap this, see if this looks good. This looks all right. This looks good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good enough. Okay. So let's uh, put all of this into one unwrap. Uh, it's pretty good. The margins need to be... Uh, yeah, sure. Let's make the margins a bit bigger because we don't want any bleed to happen. There you go. We finally got it, boys. We got the unwrap way better. There you go. That looks way cleaner. And now when we paint shit, it's not gonna fuck up. <laughs> it's actually gonna work properly. Now we can start painting. Jesus Christ. Okay. Come the fuck on. Why, uh, why did I skip it? I'm so dumb. Okay, here we go. We're now painting. Uh, what? Built-in select box not found in view 3D. What? Are you talking about Blender? I don't know what the hell that means. Okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna just fill this in with, whoa, what? Huh? Excuse me? Why is there a black spot there? Um, excuse me. There seems to be a problem with my blender. It does not seem to like, uh... Okay, so I can't paint over it. 
It's just that it, it just doesn't go away when I paint it. I guess it's always in color. That's why. I need a bit mix. Uh, I want it to be in gray. Let's start with a gray tone and then we'll just add everything else later. Okay. Um, should I paint in flat? I probably should. And let me just adjust my wireframe here so I can see it. There you go. Okay. Here we go. Painting! Finally, after 30 minutes of me saying we're gonna get the painting, we're actually painting. Damn. Actually, I don't like flat now. Matcap? Uh, eh. Kind of. It kind of works a little better. So I can see the texture and still get a little bit of the 3D volume. Eh, nah. Studio with no feckler is probably the best one. Yeah, this is good. Because, like, the flat's a little too much. It's like I can't see any form. This at least allows me to see the form, so I probably should just remove the wireframe altogether. There you go. I don't need the wireframe anymore. Uh, I am going to add a little shadow here, and then I'm going to add the light here. Oh, man. This is what good unwraps give you. No pain when you're painting. It's just lovely, lovely painting all the way through. You don't need to worry that something's bleeding or something is fucking up. You just paint. No questions asked. Look at that. Wonderful. That's what, a, what, that's what an unwrap should do. You know? Just that it's a pain in the ass. Is my pressure sensitivity just broken? I don't know why, but every time I use pressure sensitivity on any program. It just does not seem to do what it's supposed to be doing. Probably should fix it. But I won't. I would rather die than da, 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 da. I don't know if anybody knows that song. I'll put the link down in the description. It's called Jazz Emu. He's a super good artist. Loves work. And he makes amazing, funny uh musical pieces like that which is amazing lovely okay so far this grayscale technique is it's definitely more straightforward i can see now why he, she uses this because it's so much more like straightforward just paint the shadows paint with values it's like the the most basic way to to get the form as quickly as possible so I can definitely now see why she does this. So far, I'm liking it. So, I might keep doing this 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 way. Uh, just so that I can, you know, implement it to my own workflow. So, thank you. Natasha, I think that's her name. Natasha from Riot. Thank you for your advice. I'll probably just put a link down in the description as well for her art station because she's legit. She works in the art sta uh, art uh, department in Riot Games, like the asset department. And uh, yeah, she just knows her stuff. Knows her stuff. Okay, let's paint in this thing. Uh... There you go. And then, uh, I think that's about it, really. I think I'm gonna start smudging shit now. Oh, wait, I need to put in the thing. One, two, three. There's like three lines here. Let's add one, two, three. There you go. Okay, that's a bit, <laughs> bit of a buck tooth boy right there. At right, one, two, three. There you go. Nice. Uh, how big is the gap? It's not actually that big so it's like you can go pretty close to the nose there you go lighten up the tooth a bit maybe not too much here okay cool Okay. There 
we go. Getting most of the values in there. And now, the magic part. Wait, why is this clipping? I think it's this. Yep. Okay. Now, the magic part. Less smudge. I love the smudge tool. It's so cool. Probably should be doing this in Krita. Like, more... I think I'll I'll refine I'll refine the smudging in Krita. But I like working on the 3D model and currently you can't really do that. I don't know if you can, but you can't currently do that from my knowledge in Krita. You can do it in Photoshop, which makes it super useful because that means you can just literally paint in Krita and you don't need to leave on Krita and then just go back to Blender when you're done, which is super useful, but uh Currently, I'm just stuck with Krita for external uses, which is the gradient mapping, because I don't think... I can paint this with the Blender tools or with color, like what I did earlier when I turned brown into grayscale, but it may not be as good of a result, and it's not as flexible, because I can't turn the gradient to some arbitrary color. So that's why I, I would probably just switch back to Krita. Or the transition. Or the gradient mapping, rather. It's also one of the main reasons why I turned this into a time lapse, because this part is very much just a very relaxing and very tedious, boring process. It's not like. Like, unless if you have something to talk about, I usually just listen to a bunch of music and I just work away on this for like hours. Like, I don't even notice that a 10 minutes has passed by already from the moment we started painting. Like, it's just it's just like that. It just happens. Now, occasionally, you'll get a little bit of jank here, but it's fine. Okay. Uh, let's make that a little bit more. Oops. Uh, the, the, the smudge tool works from view, so it's a bit jank. So you have to be careful not to hit any other poly counts, or any other polys. Okay, there you go. Uh, let's see. Let's fade that in from the top. Let's sort of accentuate that form. I kind of want to paint in a, a, a highlight here, actually. So like, here really strong highlight it's not coming through as hard as i would have wanted so i probably painted this a little bit too bright to start with no nah, actually it's fine I'll, I'll start painting on material preview i think it's a little more accurate to the actual finished model but yeah the smudge tool is basically just there to to prevent these like very harsh edges that to show up because it's often the result when you're hand painting stuff you have to soften those edges up or if you are gonna make them hard there has to be a reason why and a lot of times i don't have many experience on that so i just go smudge city on that bitch like i don't i don't i don't want to deal with the uh, with form as much i'm just gonna smudge it until it's barely recognizable which is not what you're supposed to do but that's what i do because i cope Let cope. Because I can't paint. There we go. Okay. So far, not bad. I think I don't like this. This little bridge here. Like, yeah. It, it just doesn't doesn't look good. I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to... Maybe fix it? Wait, is S not working? What the fuck? Excuse me? Does S not work? Wait, what's the shortcut? Control Alt? No? Control? What the fuck? Okay, I'm so confused now. All right. Oh my god, Blender. Oh god. Why are you doing this to me? Why you gotta torture me like this? Okay. Well, uh, I don't know how to col uh, color pick, so that's good. I mean, I'm just using values anyway, so it doesn't matter, but... Man, I would love to know that. <laughs> 
Would have loved to know. Out the color pick. Ah, oh, fuck. This looks like shit now. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, let's get out of there. Let's get out of there while we still can. Uh... I also haven't checked my undo limit. I usually like having an extremely obnoxiously high undo limit just so that I can undo everything. Undo all my mistakes. And, uh... I don't think I adjusted it on this version of Blender. Which is a bit concerning. Is it not B? What's the brush button? P? B. B. P. What is it? Shift. Uh, uh, one? Fuck. It's not one. Bitch, Blender lied to me. <laughs> what do you mean? Fuck. Okay, fine. I'm gonna have to get used to shift space bar. I tried getting used to it when I first started texture painting. And I did. I did get used to it at some point. So I just didn't need the, the, the taskbar over there, but... Damn it, I want that. <laughs> I wanna click buttons. Uh I think I'm gonna accentuate this portion of the geometry. Just to make it look sharper. It's not gonna add shadow, but I just want I want this to be like a really solid edge. You know? And then, oh fuck, I keep going back to the T. I should have a challenge every time I do this. But I think I'm just gonna quit after like a month after. Because <laughs> this is gonna make just. Because I, I, I honestly, I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I say like sometimes I, like, I hate doing this stuff. It's just funny. Like, I just move on after that. Like, I don't, I don't really mind it. Like, if, uh, some shit like that happens it's like well that's blender being blender it is what it is like i i think i just have to just sort of like i i take it by stride really like it's just funny but i don't actually get frustrated when things like that happen it's just funny to me it's a little extra challenge you know i'm too good at <laughs> i'm too good at hand painting that blender is actively trying to sabotage me that a bit. Nope. Uh, okay. I think I may have gone a bit too strong on this uh, highlight. So, uh, yeah. There we go. I'm gonna blend that in. Hopefully. Uh, let's do... Ah, uh, fuck me. Why does B not work? My freaking muscle memory, bro. Muscle memory doesn't work anymore. I fucking hate it when shortcuts just don't work. Why does it not work? There has to be, like, a new button for that or something. Like, it has to be. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna blend this up. There you go. Just to soften that edge. Go. Probably sharpen that up again later when I refine it. So far, this is the process. I don't know what's up with this weird geometry that's like poking out, but whatever. It's not enough of a bother that it actually destroys the entire thing. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Go. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna blend this part because it looks hideous. Trying to get the round nature of the skull. Uh, I'm also gonna shape this to be a little more like. Damn it, like blurs the fuck out of it. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna repaint that later. <laughs> uh I'm trying to get the, the the circular nature of the skull while I'm blending it. So that it actually looks like you know it's following the form. I've heard from someone that when you're drawing a your hair, you're supposed to draw with the flow of the hair so that it actually looks like it's you know. It's in virt in 3D space because if you imply where the strokes are going, then you can make it a little more accurately. Now, obviously, this does not look that good. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. This so far looks a bit eh. It's like it's like smudgy. It's it, it it you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of amateur work. It's like not very good. Uh, shading. But hey, that's just gotta make progress. Hopefully, I get better at it at some point, but for now, that is just what it is. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta control your negative self talk at times, because, uh, oftentimes that's what happens to me. I just, like, start telling myself that, you know what, this looks like shit. What are you doing? And oftentimes you just gotta tell yourself, shut the fuck up. Work on it before you say anything, bitch. Like, I don't know why you're why are you being so judgmental about yourself. It's not even finished yet. Like, rather finish the piece, then judge it. Okay? Don't judge an uncooked dish. There you go. Alright. Let's uh let's make this a bit better. Cause this was a bit trash here. Uh first of all I want this to be a bit more in shadow. I need I definitely need to be painting a lot in a lot more lower of an opacity because holy shit that looks so much better. Uh but essentially I need to shape that eyebrow to something like that. Yeah, I was definitely working. I was definitely working on a way too high of uh, an opacity. This looks so much better. And the only thing I changed is the... is the fact that my opacity is so much more... Lower. God damn it. Yeah. Okay, Blender, I'll start not going too hard on it. Alright. Uh, this needs to be a little lighter because it's hitting from the top. I decided that the lighting is going to come from the top because it's the easiest way to paint stuff like this. Uh, whoopsie daisy again. The jank. go nice okay nice i mean it's smudge city but i mean it, it it's the, the forms there and then when i color gra color map this in to the brownish color hell that's that's pretty damn good in my opinion and then we'll add details later like for a for a simple skull, I think I did pretty well. That took like uh, 20 minutes to paint. So if there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 parts, 9 times 
20. That's like 180 minutes. So that's that's will take me like three hours. <laughs> three hours to like fully shade in, basically. Okay, that's not bad. The other one took me like five hours, so. And also the re the main reason why it took that long is because I'm just trying to get my mojo in and just trying to figure out tools. Because that was actually the first time I used Uku Paint. Like I know that Uku Paint existed when I first was getting into texture painting, but I never actually used it. And in that video, I actually did use it for the first time, and it holy shit, it's so good. Unfortunately, it doesn't work currently. Uh, hopefully, the developer updates it. Uh, it seems to completely break Blender currently, and I think it Blender is just broken currently when you move when you go back to previous versions. But besides that should be good okay uh let's see i probably should also report that as a bug because you know you gotta do your part if you found a bug you gotta contribute and tell the developers hey there's a bug you know i don't know if it's easy to replicate though so i'll i'll, I'll try to replicate it on the uh on a new file and see if it actually does it. Bang. There you go. All right, that's a pretty nicely rendered skull to me. I think this part is still a bit too icky, but close enough. What the fuck? Uh, where is it? Uh, gun. Save all images. I don't have my shortcut here. Add quick to favorites. There we go. Um, so now I can now paint this guy. Okay. Let's paint him gray. And let's start painting in the shadows. So the shadows are pretty simple. Uh, all I have to do is just go like this. Oh, uh, well. And actually go pretty liberal on the shadow here. Well, what the fuck? Oh, right, because we're in material preview. In material preview, there's a bit of a delay. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, because I'm doing it on the opposite side. <laughs> right, I forgot. Right, this is the painting side. What? Huh? I'm so confused. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Hello? Wait. Huh? What? I'm so confused. Why is it? Why am I not able to paint there? Hello? Is it th is this, this thing? Hold on. Let me see here. Okay, it's the skull. But like... Why was it so bad, bro? Like, shouldn't it just ignore the geometry when I'm selecting something? What? I'm so confused. Like... So I have the skull, right? I need the skull so that I can get the reference of the shadow. But when I painted it... It... Okay, now it's working. Okay, it... oh. What? Okay, it's not working on the top. <laughs> Maybe it's just normal shit. Hold up. No, that's not. That's not normal shit. That's definitely not normal shit. Yep, that is definitely not normal shit. Okay, uh... Hang on a second here. Okay, now that works. This works. This works. Okay, so my normals were just flipped. I see. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. No harm, no foul. I thought Blender was just shitting it like shitting the bed it was just uh it was just normals just normals okay i need to hide this reference image because i already know the the general form of this i'm probably just going to use that for color reference later on yeah great concept by the way great concept lovely uh, lovely design uh all oh, right i forgot there's an insignia on it I completely forgot there's like an insignia that's on the, the gun that I need to do. I'll do that later. I'll paint in the ambient first before I do anything. 
Uh, this is like completely in shadow. Just gonna paint that dark. Like right there. Alright. Uh, paint this also completely dark. It's like the handles. Nobody needs to see that. Uh, this also needs to be in shadow. Well, in a little bit anyway. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, right. Here on the top as well. Okay. Cool. Those are all the ambient occlusion that I need to bake in. And let's uh, let's try blur this time because I never really used blur. Let's try blur. Does it work better now? Nope. Still ass. <laughs> it's still really bad. Why is it so bad? It's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's supposed to be blurring this section. It's not doing anything. If I if I really push it, nope, nothing. It's not it's not doing anything. Like it works? Question mark, right? Like so, if I do this, and if I blur the edge of this, like obviously that's gonna be blurred, right? But it's so low. It's such a low amount of blurring that it's practically nothing. Like, is it like that? Like, do I have to adjust the sharp threshold or something? Like, do I have to add a... Do I have to make it box? Like, I don't fucking know how this tool works. This does not work like a normal blur tool. I don't understand. Like, it's so... It's just shitty. I don't know what to tell you. It's just bad. I could be completely wrong, but it's just not working what I'm thinking it is. So I just use smear. Like, I, I, I don't think I ever use blur. Like, that for that specific reason. Because it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. I wish it does, because it in, in like, Photoshop or in Krita, that's one of the more powerful tools, because you can just, like, instead of smudging the fuck out of this, which will inevitably give you this like streaky look which is not bad but it you know if you want a smooth look you need to blur and when your blur tool doesn't work it's like fuck what am i supposed to do right like you can't get proper smudging so it's just uh it's just a bit of a pain in the ass really I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, fade this in and see how this works. Oh, it's a bit muddy, but it it gets the job done. Cause I am gonna paint like a wood texture to this, and the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna do just lines. It's usually how you make wood. You just make lines, and that's about it. It's pretty much how I made the tree. Like if. How you made the tree model? Make that here, basically. Uh, I'll do streaky. God damn it! Like this would not be a problem if blur works the way it's supposed to, because currently blur just does not do jack shit. It just, it just, it's literally just the worst blur you can get. It's so slow and it's just not working the way that it's supposed to. I don't know if I'm using the tool incorrectly. I don't know if I have a setting that's supposed to turn it on. And even if it is, why is it turned like that by default? Like, it just it doesn't make sense. So. I wish it works. I wish Blur actually does what it's supposed to do. And, I mean, it does what it's supposed to do technically, but it does it really badly. Like, I wish it does it a little better. So. I have, You know what? I have an experiment. What if I, like set the blur to like three that's a little better wait a minute if i set this to 10 will that work Ooh, now it started the artifact like five maybe okay it's, it's starting to get the effect that i wanted it but why do you need to set it to five that doesn't make sense why do you need to set it to 5? That's such a arbitrary thing. Okay, so... Let's actually see what it happens if I push this further. Okay, so now it just starts breaking. Okay. Uh, let's go at 6 maybe? No, anything past 5, it starts to break. So... 
even when five it like starts to break like that look at that it starts to immediately i think i'll go with three But yeah, like I wish it it does that, but doesn't artifact, right? It's doing almost what I wanted it to do. Like it's actually blurring it properly. It's giving me a nice fade that you want when you're trying to add ambient occlusion. But no, instead it does this weird thing where it like only only mixes in like a very specific spot and it doesn't like do anything else so unless you circle the fuck out of the area that's the only time the blur will actually look like it's doing anything like so the only fix while you're working is you just you know paint extremely slowly like which i mean it's fine like you know i guess like as a proper technique anyway but if I want to work quick and fast, like it's just not gonna, it's not, it's not gonna fly with Blender. It's just, it's not, it's not working. I don't know why I'm getting so worked up to this. Like it's already been an hour. I think it's why. <laughs> I've already been working on this for an hour. Jesus Christ. Uh, I think my 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 brain my brain is starting to go insane. This is usually why I, I shut up when I paint. I don't talk when I paint because. Shit like this happens where I just start rambling nonsense. I'm like the narrator from Stanley Parable. Going crazy while I'm talking. By the way, I didn't know the voice actor for the Stanley Parable narrator lives in the Philippines. That's pretty sick. Apparently he's been having trouble with Gcash, which is our... Uh, our digital wallet system here in the Philippines because apparently he's a foreigner and apparently they don't allow foreigners to have a Gcash like easily I guess I don't know like it's some weird thing like it could just be an error but apparently he's putting it up as like some sort of xenophobia which I mean I look man I <laughs> I know that some of us may be a little bit racist here in the Philippines probably indirectly but I mean, probably just a weird technical issue. There you go. All right. Ambient's going okay. I hate the fact that the values are now changed there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Blend this part. Uh, actually, let's extend this a bit more. Lessen this a bit more. There you go. Then blur this. Okay. All right. Cool. Still a bit streaky, but like we might even be able to fix it on uh, on Krita. We might, just maybe, might be able to fix it. Uh, so now the shadows are painted in, I'm gonna paint the, uh, the wooden texture in. Now, the, uh, the, the concept has, like, an insignia on it that I want to make sure I can get. So, I'm gonna put the side by side and I can paint it. Um, or do I do that at the end? I could do that at the end. Uh, probably. Um, this has a little lip on it, so I might, I might accentuate that here. Let me also just save. Um, so like, maybe something like this where I would add a shadow here. And then add like a little light. There you go. Sound like that. Uh, and then we'll do smear. Can like tighten that up a bit more. Okay.
cool. Um, let's see. Okay, so now I have that. What is this line? I don't know what that is. It's probably like the same as that. So it's like it's saying that it's like a it's a, another portion. I could do that. I'm gonna sound like that. So I'll do small line here. It's like going from here to here. I guess. So like that. And then do something like this. There you go. Okay. That looks pretty good. No uh no cap. Smudgy as fuck, but gets the job done, gets the form done. Alright, uh so those are the two lines. Now I need to just make this insignia. Uh I'm gonna do a little bit of creative liberty. And I'm gonna make it uh scratchy. This is like uh it's like embedded into it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it look like it's like scratched into the into the wood. Which is probably not the intended, but I, I don't know. I just like it to be like that. It also makes it so that I can make the symbol a little more crudely. And it makes sense. Because, you know, I'm lazy. <laughs> uh, no, sh I'm sorry if the, 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 the designer, the concept artist for this, intended this to be like a metal thing. I'm sorry. I'm just lazy. I wanted it to look like a... But also, I wanted, actually wanted it to look like it's scratched into the wood. Um, so, you know, creative liberties. That's that's why they're there. Um, let's see. He also told me that as long as I credit him, it should be good. So, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to, like, put the link in the description for ArtStation. And also, when I post this on ArtStation, I'll make sure to also credit him. So, see... You don't need to... I don't need to use AI art when I'm using reference all the time. You can use actual artwork. Because a lot of the times, AI, actual artwork is good. In fact, it's way better than AI art. Because especially for this kind of stuff, like... It's just more clean. AI art is so complicated that you can barely tell what to do. Like, it's good for references. For just, like, knowing a look. Like, ga gathering references. So, if you like a certain style, sure. Use AI art images use normal images i don't care but if you're trying to use it as direct reference which is what i did for the tree it looked nowhere in the reference and it probably even looked bad because it i wasn't referencing simpler forms that humans tend to make when they're making concept art so use human concept art if you can the only reason why i use the an AI is because I did not have the time and I, don't know, I just was lazy. <laughs> so don't be like me and just actually, uh, if you if you if you have the time, which most likely you do, then find some human artists and make a connection, you know. But I don't really blame anyone if they choose AI art as a reference. It's like it's their choice. As long as you don't use it as your crutch, it's like, that's all you know. Which a lot of AI bros seem to have. It's like, well, we're democratizing the art forms and we are no longer gatekeeping. Who, who tell, who's saying that it's gatekeeping? Art. Nobody was gatekeeping art from anybody, y'all. Aside from the fact that y'all fucks are lazy. I don't know what the hell this gatekeeping argument they had with art, with AI art. Like, that shit makes no sense. Like, how the fuck nobody was gatekeeping it besides your lazy asses not wanting to learn how to draw, okay? I don't know what the fuck these people are smoking. Like, like it's 
literally the worst argument I've ever heard. Sure, I appreciate AI art technology. I don't fucking suck its dick or something. But like, the fact that these people like defend them themselves making AI art, claiming it's real art, and saying that it dem democratizes art for the general mass, which it's a good argument for like why does AI art exist? It's not a good arg it's not a good answer to why are you using AI art instead of just learning how to draw? That's like <laughs> like that's that's just a terrible answer for that argument, which is often what they use. They use that as the answer to that argument, which is so stupid. Uh Okay, that's the thing that yeah, does not look anywhere near like that, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, concept artist. It is what it is. Okay. There you go. Okay. Uh, that looks good enough. It's like scratched into it. Uh, we're going to add the wood texture in and uh, just go with it. I don't know how the hell am I going to do this. Uh... I like that, yeah? Yeah, that's probably gonna work. So if I do something like this... There. Wood is so weird because it's like... You can get it a lot of the times, but a lot of the times it just looks kind of eh. Like, it doesn't look as good as the, the artists, like the good artists that make wood. And oftentimes it's because it's monotonous, like your wood patterns are just not good. Which is weird, because you would typically think that wood is pretty easy because it's just lines. But it's like has a variety of widths and like, interesting shapes and, you know, stuff. <laughs> Uh, so it, it's not just lines a lot of the time. There you go. Okay, so... Uh, should I risk it and go for the whole model? Fuck it, we ball. Let's just, let's just shade the entire model like this and hope to God that it actually is look, that it looks good. Because usually what I was thinking is like, I'm going to test it on this patch if it doesn't look good, then I'm gonna redo it. But no, you know what? I trust myself that I'm gonna make it look good. And if it doesn't look good, well, fuck me, I guess. It's just gonna look bad. <laughs> it's just my fault that it looks not as good as I probably should have, but whatever. It's fine. Okay, let's start uh, smudging the shit out of this. Uh, maybe, uh, should I? Or should I add highlights? Let me check. I'll probably destroy the lines here, but whatever. This is why I love Uku Paint, because I could just add that, like, as a layer, and I don't have to think about it. But now that I'm working on one layer, it's like actual painting where you have to think about stuff beforehand. Uh, yes, I definitely need highlights. <laughs> I need highlights. That looks like shit. Looks like shit. Uh, not too thick. Usually I can just shape the highlights into what I want, so I'll just add the highlights as just a blob. As long as it's in the general area and it doesn't intersect with the actual dark lines, then I should be clear. Because smudging fixes everything, says the amateur artist. I don't know why I saw this one argument on Twitter before when I used to just browse around artists and people were complaining that uh, a, an artist called Sak uh, what's her name again? Sa Sakimichi? Sakamichi? It's like that girl, she's like a, she's like a really good artist that draws like really lewd looking um, like fan art. And apparently I saw critique uh, of her saying that her style looks so airbrushed and so like it, it, it's like super airbrushy. 
and I thought I was like, wait a minute, doesn't that mean that that good? <laughs> doesn't that mean that's good? Because that means it's like nice and rendered, nicely rendered and soft. I don't really understand that insult. How is that? How is that an insult? Like it looks airbrushy. Like I get it as a critique, where it's like, okay, maybe you should be a little more careful with like form, right? But in terms of just the style, because I think she's critiquing the style, not a particular piece itself, just the style that Saki, Sakamichi, Saka, I forgot her name, her art, like, uh, she seems to be critiquing her style, which is like, okay, what about it? Uh, I don't really understand why she's critiquing, he or she is critiquing the, in that aspect. It's like, okay. Twitter is a cesspool anyway. I'm glad that it's gonna die soon. Um, I've been watching a lot of uh, Marketing Monday by Atrioc. If you haven't checked him out, go ahead and check him out. And uh, he talks about how Twitter is practically gonna die pretty damn soon. Because there's no way that it's financially stable. And the decisions that they're making and the fact that they bought Twitter with debt. I mean, it's practically the final nail in the coffin. There's no way that he's going to be able to get that up and running as anytime soon. So I think that would be a glorious yet sad day because it once was a place where I thought you can just make funny jokes on the internet. Now it's just known as the cesspool of the internet, which I guess uh, it is what it is. It's kind of sad. By the way, speaking of Atrioc, um, for those people who are not familiar with Atrioc, um, he had a bit of a he had a bit of an oopsie. He had he got into some drama due to an incident that happened to him where he accidentally uh, showed a website that had deep fake porn on it. Um, and his reasoning was that he was uh, looking up research for like how AI will change the world kind of ordeal. And one of the things, one of the negatives of AI or just the emerging technology is not just AI, it's just uh, the emergence uh, of deep fakes, specifically deep fake porn, which is highly unethical. And the fact that he showed it on stream, you know, pretty much like it was a whole fiasco because it was just like, you know, just extremely sad. Like I saw his entire like stream group and stream friends practically just fall apart. Um, luckily, I think nowadays it's uh, it's been mended a bit. Um, I heard that they have, you know, been taking, you know, when they're off stream they're doing activities and um i also watched his update on the matter of what he's trying to do to alleviate the situation he has worked with like researchers to actually like get uh more resources out the door for people who want to get deep fakes of them out of the internet which is also just a terrible thing like the fact that uh i remembered uh someone I think I, I don't even think it was someone. Uh, was it Maya? I think it was Maya. Uh, Maya, uh, Maya Higa, which is also a streamer. Apparently, she had to pay like upwards of like a thousand something dollars like every month, just to make sure that he has an agency that would protect her from deepfakes. That is like unbelievably fucked up. Like. The fact that you need an agency that monitors the internet round the clock for you to not uh, be used without consent is ridiculous. It's actually like extremely morbid. But yeah, anyways, besides the point, um, Atriog made a video updating like I believe like a month and then six months from now 
Hopefully he makes another update and just to update and see what's going on. Even if he doesn't make an update after, just one more last update. I think that would be nice. Just to know like what is the state currently. From what I uh, heard last time, I believe there was like a... He was able to get uh, one of the... Like, I guess, bills into like their state for deep fake protection because i believe in some states they already have protection for this kind of stuff like protection in a bit of a light sense anyway because it's kind of difficult to get this these uh kinds of materials out anyway but it's uh it's a very it's a very nice to see that he actually did something with the whole fiasco and i i Ever since then, I just kept watching him because I knew that he he will do it. It also was in the back of my mind that when this whole shit happened, it's like he's gonna he's gonna return. He's gonna he's gonna do it. He's gonna he like he can't just disappear like that and he won't say anything aside from that. Um, it is unfortunate that he's no longer an off brand, which is the company that they literally just started before that whole fiasco happened, and you know. Like, he's no longer going to be an off-brand, most likely. But, it's the... It's just... You know, it's nice to see that my my bet, my hinge actually worked. Where, yeah, he actually did something, and he's pursuing it, and he is actually taking action, and taking responsibility. And I, I like that. That's like... To me, that is probably the best apology, slash... Uh channel revival question mark i don't even know what the term is but just basically getting back into the swing of things uh by actually doing something that i've ever seen a channel do a lot of the times when people get into drama they just sort of break down and a they just leave for an indefinite amount of time then come back as if it's normal or b they ignore what happened and they just they they basically silence anyone who tries to to comment on it which i mean it's fair it's on it's their right i just feel like atrog is probably the example that they probably should be striving for where he fucked up he did something bad and he actually did action to it and uh you know i i'm, I'm glad that he is my streamer you know i'm glad that the person that i've watched this whole time is actually you know a genuinely nice person that actually cares about what's right and wrong so you know it's good the wood's a little bit um how would i describe it veiny <laughs> it doesn't it's not very good i'm not gonna lie to you folks it's not looking very good uh like, I think I need to add more dark values. I think I, I, may, I may have added a little too much light values on it. Now looking at it, it's like, yeah. Just way, way too light. Yeah. Because, uh, like, it's supposed to be embedded into the wood, but... Hey, show you here. I think it's fine. I think I can lighten that up later on post. Uh, I'll add like a small hint of shadow because currently the lighting is a bit all over the place. So adding just a smudge of like dark shadow at the bottom will really accentuate the top. There you go. Nice. Nice and slow. All right, there you go. We got ourselves the the wood part at least. Um, it looks a little bit weird, but hopefully it'll look a little better later. Save. Let's work on. What do we work on? Let's work on a nozzle. Um, I don't know what this is gonna be. I think this is gonna be like a wood material, but I don't really want it to look like this. 
Um, I think I'm just gonna keep this veiny look there, and I'm gonna make this look like stone, but it's actually like a woody material, so I'm gonna try to get that in there. Um, let's do gray. Let's add an ambient occlusion. Nope. Normals are fucked up. Great. Wait, what? Normals were not fucked up. Normals were indeed fucked up. What? Yep. Huh? Excusez-moi, monsieur? Are you, are you uh, being an ass? What, uh, what are you doing? Okay. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> that was the again every freaking time. What on earth is happening? Why is S doesn't work? Oh my god! Please, anything, something. Fuck! Why does it not work? Why does the color pick not work? It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. I just have to paint slowly, probably. Okay. Slow. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If anybody has been watching this far, an hour and 30 minutes in, I hope you find some use of this. Because <laughs> truth be told, this is literally a selfish endeavor. This is just me trying to be better at my thing uh, and potentially getting a job out of it. That's that's my goal out of these videos. This is not like uh, supposed to be entertaining content. It's just supposed to be me working and me trying to make it desperately entertaining, which is not even supposed to be my job. Like, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I trying to be a clown whilst trying to make this look good? That doesn't make sense, but I like talking, and I like, uh, I like potentially entertaining people, so that's why I do it. There you go. Let's try to get it as close to the border as we can, so that there's a really close, uh, ambient occlusion. Okay... Alright. Alright, man. Okay. Looks pretty good to me. Uh, I think. Uh, that's actually pretty damn good. Uh, I think the only thing is that it has like a little line, little lip on it, and I do want that in there. So I think I'm just gonna shade this just so lightly so I can emphasize that there is a lip here. There you go. I'll darken this back in. And I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna add the rim. I didn't I also removed the rim on the last one. Probably should add that back in. I just realized. There you go. Look at that. Looks pretty sick. Uh, I'm going to add the rim back here because I completely forgot. Uh, add that in there. And uh, add that in here. Go. Okay. Uh Oh god. Oh jeez. I think I got acid reflux. Oh god. 
It seems that will only have happened when I have started uh, dieting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That is... <clears throat> oh, jeez. Yeah. I don't know if it's just the antibiotics that I'm taking or if it's the... Uh... It's the diet, but it's definitely either of the two. Hang on a sec. I I'm gonna mute my mic. This is disgusting. Alright, I'm back. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've been starting to get like some sort of acid reflux every so often, and uh, really sucks. Um, let's see, let's come back here. All right, and then after that, I think I'm just gonna paint, <clears throat> paint that over. Oh my god, fuck! I hate acid reflux. Jesus Christ. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, uh, for this part. Uh, this one doesn't really have any of this stuff, so I think I'm just gonna do Creative Liberty on it as well. Uh, let me just save. <clears throat> I'm so sorry that I'm coughing, this is just ridiculous. I might just mute my mic so that it doesn't happen. Like, so that I just don't cough. Because it's disgusting. Uh, what? Excuse me? There you go. Okay, I just need to flip the normals. Man, the floor- the normals are- are really the, the hardest part so far. It's like, it seems to just not cooperate. I don't know why. Just doesn't want to cooperate with me. Uh, Make this dark. And then go here. Okay. For this part, I don't really need to put that much importance to it. But I mean, if you're going to have polish on a lot of things... You might as well get polish on the smallest of things, so... I'm gonna try to get this into something that's acceptable. Because, so far, the only real purpose of this is just to make it look like it's actually not just a floating piece of wood. So... I think I can do a pretty good job on making it look alright. It's also not a sharp corner. So I can't add the highlight on it. I can add like a small bit of highlight on it, but that's about it, really. Like, nothing too major. So like, I can add like a small hint. Like I can add like a line on it. And then it goes all the way around. There you go. Maybe something like that, but besides from that, that's it. How much hours are we working on? An hour and 30, really? Wow, we're, we're breezing through this. Man, this is actually probably the biggest reason why you work in black and white. Because holy, all you have to worry about is just the form. You don't have to think about anything else. You just worry about the form, and if the form doesn't look good, you can't continue. Like, if it just does not look good on black and white, it's not going to look good in color. Which is such a good method. God, thank you whoever the artist is i need to look back at my his I, I will put it in the description i'll put it in the description her uh her workflow and her name because she's amazing and this workflow is amazing i i'm gonna definitely be using this in the, uh, in the later hand painted projects because it's just good it's just it works it, it does exactly what you think it does um I'm not looking at this and now the lighting looks odd because this is now supposed to be dark. Because this is now dark. This is supposed to, supposed to be dark. So I may have just wasted my time here. God damn it. Alright, whatever. Uh, Let's see. I probably shouldn't have darkened it to that extent. That's just me being stupid. Uh, 
Let's see. Let's paint this. Uh, save. And then... Let's see if this one works properly. It doesn't! Of course it doesn't. There you go. Now it does. Okay. Uh, this one should be easy. Again, bare minimum work. No need to overcomplicate this. Uh, just add an ambient there. Maybe. Uh, ooh, whoa, what the fuck? Excuse me? Uh, whoa. What? Why am I not? Am I not able to reach that? What? Excuse me? Bro, paint the... Oh, there's a top one! <laughs> there's a top! I was wondering, why is it, like, on the edge? That doesn't make sense. It's, a, it's supposed to be an empty face. It has one face. This is why you clean up your models before you work on it, because holy, that shit happens. It also makes it easier to paint if you're... Uh, geometry is optimized because you don't end up with shit like that where it's like just random pixely bits that have no reason to be there okay actually I like the tip already let's add a light and see if it looks better yeah it, it like ruins it and then I'm gonna just keep it like that and then the sides the sides can be lighter a bit there we go. There we go. Probably should have painted this slowly. Oh, whatever. Okay. Uh, good enough. Uh, ooh, actually, this has a bit of form here. Like, this line right here. I might add a little bit of form there. Just paint nice and slow. Nice and slow. There we go. Sort of emphasizes the, 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 the form of the trigger a bit more. Uh, maybe also in the middle. Fuck it. Maybe? Nah, it makes it look cheap. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, let's move on to this part. This is actually the biggest one, so we should probably should move on to this. Uh, let's go here. And uh, let's also hide this because we don't need it anymore. Uh, does this paint normally? Of course it doesn't. Does it now? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna paint everything inside just black first before we move on. Okay. Uh... Just a little bit ambient, sort of bleeding into that. There you go. Just a little bit. Okay.
increase that. part up. They have a bit of a blue tinge, I just realized. Yeah. I'm like weirdly blue. this work? Of course it doesn't fucking work. Okay. <laughs> Why did I even think that will work? Of course it won't, dumbass. Actually need to keep the inside like completely black because it's gonna be mostly hidden anyway I just realized so I don't need to worry I'm worrying so much as to how it will look on the inside that it doesn't really matter uh, let's add some shadow on the bottom here go nice starting to lag a bit too which is a bit strange I'm just texture painting bro Where are you lagging uh, okay this looks a bit too shiny for my liking, but honestly, I don't really know what to add here. Like, really, I don't, I don't really know. I think this is supposed to be like bone. Both of these are bones. I'm thinking. Th I'm thinking that's gonna be the, the material. It's like bone and wood. So I'll keep that in mind. Uh, the rest of these are gonna be pretty much standard. So I don't think I need to even think about it. We're about two hours in, and we're almost done, really. Because once we color map this, I mean, shush, that's that's it. That's curtains. No need to... No need to worry. It's just done. Okay. Uh... And then we will just... Smudge the shit out of that. Also, by the way, this is a bit sad, but uh, I just realized Omegle's dead. Like, I'm not a big Omegle kid. I never really used Omegle. I think I used it like once and then that was it. But I remember back in the day where Omegle was so popular. 
And then I was like, you know, I'm learning Spanish, right? And so I thought, oh, what would be a perfect place to learn Spanish with random people? Omegle. Obviously, that's like the that's the perfect uh, opportunity to do so. And so I went to Omegle and I got just blasted with a picture of a tombstone and a very long essay that I read because I was like, okay, this seems to be a serious matter. So I read it and apparently uh, she talked about, the, the creator of Omegle talked about why she made Omegle and the difficulties that happened uh, while running Omegle and then finally the nail in the coffin apparently there was a lawsuit that was sent to Omegle and basically after that she just cannot like she cannot bear what is now the state of the site and also because she's constantly getting barraged by like how the website sucks now and just like oh, overall just terrible right and it's really sad because it's like man she just made this website because she wanted to meet other people online and now it's been used basically as a place where very terrible like people exploit it to just for their own benefit which is really shitty like and i think that's also what she said in uh her essay like at the end of the day there really is no solution to this problem like the only real thing that she can do was hold on and at that and at a certain point it's just gonna break like she re reached her breaking point and after that she just is not like there's no reason to continue um so i appreciate her fighting the good fight you know she fought for her for what she thinks is right and what she thinks the internet should allow should have allowed she even said in the essay that like you know if this thing, uh, if these things cannot be allowed anymore, meeting random people on the internet is no longer allowed, what else are they gonna take away from us? Are they gonna take away starting to, uh, to put videos online? Or are they gonna start uh, disallowing like messages because now they're being tracked? Like it's a very, uh, it's a very emotional essay that she put on and I, I understood it because I think it was a it uh, Omegle was a very important project for her because obviously it's her biggest project but also um, it's a way for her to basically take the trauma that she had and turn it into something positive and the fact that now it has been turned to this and the fact that she is now getting you know legal action because of this vision that she had for the internet is just really sad and you know it's super unfortunate um i'm not gonna be surprised if like there will most likely be another version of omegle in another time maybe ran by one of those sick billionaires that can basically just avoid regulation but Omegle was, you know, Omegle was indeed a time. It was a time of the internet, and it's sad to see it go. I mean, we're gonna see it with Twitter anyway, so we're not gonna we're not gonna be surprised that much when Twitter goes down because we already knew what happened. Uh, once the Elon's the grubby grubby hands got his hands on it, I mean, it's over. It's Jover at that point. Okay. There you go. Alrighty. Got one of the wraps in place. Okay. Uh, let's do save. Let's do this wrap. Man, it's so hard to keep talking when you're trying to think of topics. How the fuck do people have a podcast that has like a hundred episodes long? 
My podcast uh, will most likely end at some point when I feel like I just have nothing to talk about. Which is very hard. I usually have something to talk about at least. I don't talk about it for hours though. I think that's the main big difference. Like, podcasts take like an hour, maybe two, because some have like extra hours because like, holy fuck, how can you talk that much? That shit's insane. Also, I forgot to paint this shit. Um... Like, how the fuck can you talk that much? That's ridiculous. It surprises me. Uh, what is that? I think it's just a bad mesh. I need to, I need to adjust this mesh a little bit later. Because it has these holes in it that just don't look good. So I need to... I'm gonna fix that later. Fixing that later. There you go. Okay. Bang. There you go. Okay. Now we just... I'm glad that wraps are a little easier because it's literally just wrapped clothing. So all you have to do is really is just sort of let the colors bleed into these lines. They, they naturally form into these lines that just so happen to look like folds, like clothing. So the one of the easier things to make when you're texture painting. Well, at least if you're making it this way. Which is probably not proper, but works enough. Fine by me. looks like rope but works enough my milkshake brings all the boys in the yard and like the better than yours and I like it's better than yours I don't know why that song is <laughs> in my head all the time Who actually sang that song? I don't even know who sang that song. Is it the same person who like wrote the My Humps song? My hump, my hump, my hump, my hump, my lovely lady lump. Check it out. That kind of thing. That song. Is she the same person? Probably not. Sounds like it. I might now go to flat shading because now the forms are like there and now the, the, the 3D form is actually making it harder to make it more accurate. So I think I'm going to have to switch to sh flat shading now because we want to get more detail in because we already have the general forms in. So we can probably start doing that fairly soon. So it took us two hours to sort of block in the general lighting and just the material uh, look of it pretty fast. Like, it took us one hour to model this whole thing. Maybe an hour? I actually can't remember. Uh, and it took us about two hours to get the base in. No colors. 
Uh, so we'll see how fast we do this. Because last time it took us 5 hours to make the ground and the tree. But that was my first time in a long time texture painting. So let's see how fast we can make this gun. And it is also just a gun. The last one had the ground and the tree. All the, and also the leaves as well. Which are... Which I completely underestimated, but you know, it's not that bad in all the circumstances. Uh, save. Let's go to this mode and flat. Look at that. So now you can actually see the form. So, for instance, here the shadows are a bit icky. You can see here what the hell is this, brother? What the fuck is that? You know? You can you can really see the mistakes if you're in flat shade because now there's no shadows to hide your mistakes. Which is useful once you get everything like down, like the the foundation down. You go to flat shading and you correct all the mistakes. So I mean, so far, I did pretty well. I just need to color this in, but overall, I mean, I did pretty damn well. And this technique fucking works. Paint in grayscale first, then color it in after. I might even try and do it here in uh, Blender and see if that works. Because I kind of don't want to paint in Krita. <laughs> I know it's going to look better if I put it on Krita, but uh, I can't be bothered, really. All right. Let's see. Uh, this is too bright. Too bright. Add like a really low opacity to this. There you go. Ah, my, ah, my leg is doing the electric thing. Fuck. My leg. Ah, I got cramp. I got a cramp. Fuck. Ah. I gotta keep drawing. I gotta keep drawing. Fuck. Ah. Uh, damn it. Why does it have to have a cramp like that? I just have to not move my leg. Gosh darn it. What is even the signs of that? I think it's like the blood gets stuck in the leg or some shit. God damn it. Body, why are you this stupid? <laughs> Just like, not do that. You know? Fuck. Okay, there we go. It's a little more cohesive. This is definitely not as cohesive. That does not look cohesive. What the fuck is that, brother? Brother, that shit looks like ass. There we go. Luckily, it's in symmetry, so it's pretty fine if it's a. Uh, we just work on one side. Uh, let's add a. Uh, nah, it's good. Nah, it's good. That's good. Uh, let's see. I think the only thing I need to do is add more lighting on these wraps. Maybe this as well. Yeah, most likely. Most indubitably. There we go. And then do something like this. There you go. Um there you go. to get those lights in there just to make it a little more contrasted also just make the form 
a little bit more solid. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add that in on the others as well. Two hours in. Doing pretty good. Two hours in, and also, by the way, it's 3.30. So, like, I'm, I've been working on this since 12 o'clock, I guess, I presume. Which, I mean... It's actually not that bad. No. You know what's really fucked up? I've started to wake up early, but for some reason, I cannot bring myself to, like, do shit. All I need to do is to just wake up, right? I wake up early. All I need to do is I need to go to the shower immediately. Because once you get to the shower, it will wake you the fuck up. It doesn't matter how early you wake up. It will wake you up. There's no, there's no question about it. But for some reason, I cannot bring myself to go to the shower as I slept all the way until 11 o'clock, which is so stupid. Brother, you already woke up early so you can do shit like more. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, I'm so stupid. I gotta stop doing that. There you go. Okay. Alright. Wraps are good. Add a little more here, and we should be good. Here. Here. Just kind of have to go with the strokes, really. Because it's usually how you get this to form up nicely. do like a slight shadow at the bottom just to make it more consistent because so far we've been adding like baked in shadows anyway so let's be a bit more consistent with it okay man this is the really horrible part when you're not working with a mirror it's like so cringe because you have to do it on both sides it sucks uh okay Uh, this looks bad. Actually, everything here looks bad. The wraps are definitely not the highlight of this piece. This, uh, this is not my best work. I really liked how the wood turned out. This is not my best work. Uh, okay. Let's try now to work on this thing. Try to paint this slowly and see if this works better. Cause I've been painting very fast. So let's try let's try the slow approach. Cause I could it could just be that I'm painting too fast and that's why it's looking like ass.
Nice. Uh, we'll do deadlight on the top. Tippity top. Uh, I need the form on this. So this is the highlights. This is the highlights. Okay. Nice. Lighting here is now a bit uneven, so let's just fix that. Should be like a hole here, really. There you go. Nice. A hole. There you go. Got like a weird stiff neck. Ah, ow. Okay, I've been probably posing my neck weird this whole time. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I think I got pretty much the whole gun painted, and uh, I think it's time to just save this real quick. Save all images. Okay, so it's now time to color paint this i'm gonna try something different before we move to uh before we move this to krita let's see if i can paint it here because if i can paint it here that would and it looks fine then i mean i think we're just gonna stick here so we'll go to studio mode and we'll use color should we use color yeah we should use color and then i want like a uh a bone color, right? It's like... It's like that. And that's pretty damn good! I don't know what to tell you, brother. That, that looks pretty damn good. So if I go here, I color this thing with the bone color. I color this. Color that with the bone color. I don't know what to tell you. It looks pretty fucking good. So I might not even need to go to uh to the the Krita. I might just stick here. <laughs> uh okay. Now in the uh in the concept, hold on. Let me let me actually take a look at the concept before I continue. Uh, in the concept, uh, it's like, so this is, uh, oh, this is also wood. So both of these are the color, the different colored wood. So I think I'm going to color that with whatever this color is. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to, I'm going to be accurate to the, the color here. Try to at least. So it's like this color, it's a bit more brighter, but that's fine. And then this color right here that and then this color is like a it's like this it's like a darker color looks pretty good i mean it's it's very bland and i think that's why color ramping this would be a good idea so you can get more color variety uh and just the shadows are a bit too dark maybe coloring the shadows in would be nice uh 
So yeah, I think I'll still go to uh, I'll still go to Krita. Also, I just realized these are separate. Fuck me, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I'm so bad at following reference. Jesus, this is why I don't get hired. Goodness gracious. You don't follow the reference. The reference literally says there's a separation of the wood here. Fuck. Alright, whatever. Creative liberty, creative liberty. When in doubt, creative liberty. It's creative liberty. It's creative liberty. It's my choice. I made that decision. And it's my, my really bad interpretation of it. Okay? Uh, also, I think matching it to the... To this doesn't really do it justice. Because... It's not... You know, it's not like... Yeah, this is what I imagine it to be. Maybe a little more red, actually. Nah. Yeah, this. This color. I imagine it to be this color. Maybe more dark, actually. more or less saturated I probably don't need to adjust the, va the value anyway because all I need to do is just adjust this there you go like that looks pretty good so I'll go with this color for these and then I'll stick to those for that this needs to be like a yellowish color. But it's way too dark. Actually, what the fuck am I doing? I should just be doing this. What was I thinking? Just do that. There you go. That's easy. I don't know why I'm doing it so hard. What the hell? Okay. Uh, I can do, like, some color variation, but I think for now I'm gonna move to Krita. Because I do want this to look really nice with, like, nice color differences and stuff, like the shadows. So I'm gonna move to Krita. I'm gonna open up Krita. And actually, I, I don't even need to do that. I'm gonna go here. Save. Save all images. And I'm gonna save as. And I'm gonna put this here. And then I'm gonna edit externally. And it will automatically open Krita for me. So, we now have the, the gun textured. Honestly, it looks so much better than the last tree. That I think I am definitely improving in some extent. Maybe not by a lot, but it still is something, you know. Uh, oh god, this is a bit difficult to work with. I just realized because it looks like, it literally looks like this. <laughs> it looks awful. Okay, uh, so I think I need to separate these into like multiple parts before I even attempt to color, like ramp this. Uh, this needs to be, uh, the, like, the wood so i'm just gonna separate them like that and then go like here go like that oh shit uh do this there you go and do this okay so now i can copy uh copy selection to a new layer there you go so now i have those i can just color them Great. Uh, this is... Uh, I don't really know, but we'll see. I'll group this, and then I'll add a... Add a... Just a paint layer on it, just so that I can correct some stuff. Uh, am I missing something? Hello? Ah, right, because it goes over it. That's fine. Alright, uh... Do I want a painting brush? I, I just got this new brush pack. And it gives me, like, some cool, like, little painterly things. I might use it. Why not? I'm gonna use it. I don't give a damn. 
so I'm gonna use it like that just to sort of patch up the black spots here uh, I might even like add some highlights later just to test it out um, let's see uh, I think that's good uh, let's see okay next part let's separate all the bone the bone uh whoa that's weird uh i'm just gonna separate this as a whole selection it's like this i don't know where the wraps are i just realized oh those are those are the wraps okay i see them now i see them they're right there okay are they touching they are touching uh Move the ones that are touching. What happens if I do this and I just shift? Ah, so it's just regular controls. Okay, I like that. What? What's... Oh, alt is remove. Okay, I'm so used to Photoshop being control is to basically remove shit. Okay. I just have to get used to that then. Um... I think this is... What is this? Let me check. Check back in Blender. What the fuck is this? That's not that. It's not that. Is it this? No. This? What is that? I am so confused. Is it this part? Is it the 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 handle or something? What is this little piece? Oh, whatever. I It is that. Oh, it's that piece. Oh, okay. So it is bone. Jeez. I was wondering what this little piece here is. It's the, uh, it's the one that is next to the trigger. Okay. That's, that's that. This is why it's a bit difficult, because it's like you have to know where each one is. Ideally, what you should have done is you should have colored everything in, like, a specific color, so that when you export it, you would have a reference map of where the UVs are. Um, I'll try that in the next time I texture paint, just to see if there's a difference. Uh, what the fuck? Did I not select it? Oh, I copied it from here. The uh, copy. Uh, hello. Um, hello, Krita. Are you having a stroke? What's happening? There you go. Okay, he had just a bit of a bit of a mini stroke there. Um, there you go. Okay, so we got all the bone parts. Uh, and now all of the wooden extra bits, so we'll just add those in. So this part. Remove this bit. And then this bit. The last piece of Exodia. There. Okay. Uh, is there anything interlapping? Uh, nothing. Okay. And copy. There you go. So now we have everything selected, everything separated. So now we can color map these into a gradient, which is what you would want in this situation. Uh, so let's just flatten this so we can get that going. And now. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna first color map the wood. So we have here a gradient map. Uh, that is not what I want. I want a. Okay. Uh, let's do uh, an orange, dark orange color, like a reddish orange color. And then this guy is it's still gonna be black actually maybe like dark red not 
purely black because it is kind of lame. We could also go purple or blue just to add like some hue variety to it. And then we'll add... Oh, cancel. Uh, we'll add an orange. Like a little hint of orange. Very light. I think I want to change it from purple to blue. Yeah, that looks a little better. I actually kind of like having just a regular orange tone. Yeah. And then... Maybe adjusting the colors a bit more, make it a bit brighter. Really give that nice pop. There we go. Okay, and then we'll we'll adjust that later, but you know, for now we'll just work with that. Next, let's move on to Bone. Gradient map that shit. Uh let's do Okay, let's do white. Okay, so now it's black and white, right? Then we'll do, instead of that, we will go for yellow, like this color. Then we'll go to this color. And then I adjust this to be a little bit more like an old color right there. And then I add another color. Basically make it like grayish brown, that kind of thing. That works, actually. Looks pretty damn good. Okay, cool. Uh, and now, finally, this wood. We'll do a little bit of like a, I don't know what would be the color for this. Because in the reference, it's like reddish. So let's make it like a pinkish wood, right? So let's start with like a pink high tone. Then we'll go down to like a regular orange. Like maybe like a more pinkish orange. Make it like pretty prominent, right? Actually, make... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck did I do? Did I just remove it? What? Okay. Thanks, Krita. Uh, okay. There you go. Adjust the darks a bit. Uh, and also, again, no blacks, because we can... We already have blacks earlier, so we'll try to make it more interesting by adding more hue variety. Uh, we'll do, like, a bluish color. Yeah. Make it darker. It's almost practically black. There we go. And more just shading. Uh, make the pink a little more prominent. Okay. So now we have that. Uh, the good thing about Krita is I can save. I can go back to Blender. And I can reload this image and see how it looks. Obviously, it looks kind of ridiculous. <laughs> it looks like it got vomited by a rainbow, um, which is not what we want. So we'll go back to Krita. And we will adjust something. So first of all, I also forgot to paint the, uh, the these. Um, this is also supposed to be in the bone, I just realized. This is also supposed to be in the bone. Um, so, oopsies. <laughs> oopsies, I forgot that. Uh, I'll probably just separate it. I think I can, yeah. Uh, so I'll just do this. And I'll just separate the ones that don't need color. There you go. There you go. This is a bit tight. But eh, actually, I'll just put that below there and that's fine. All right, uh, then we'll copy that, and then we'll just join it with its brother. There you go. 
And then we'll just color map it later in another color. Because, uh, and then I think this is just the ropes now. I don't know what this is, but so we're just gonna, we're gonna go with it. Uh, we will do another gradient map because it was too dark earlier when I was looking at it. It was just way too dark. So I'm just gonna like make it way lighter. So, oh shit. Oh, I'm, I'm adjusting the bone. Okay, I selected both of them, and I thought, this, okay, so this was the one I'm adjusting. Okay, so let's just adjust the bone first. Uh, I want a pretty saturated yellow. I doubt this was, like, the same color as earlier, but whatever. Experiment. You gotta experiment. <clears throat> um... God damn, this fucking limb on my throat, Jesus Christ. God damn. Uh, God fucking, what the hell is this? God, I hate everything. Jeez. Uh, okay. Add a dark thing here. It's a little more saturated. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's see. I think from the model, just from looking at it, I mean the pink, the 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 the, the purplish undertones on the wood, honestly, is actually kind of hype. I like that. Uh, the only thing that sort of threw me off is the the bluish color on the wood, but it's also not that bad. So I think yeah, there's a it, it it's like it's like we it weirdly works. So I think I'm good. I think I'm fine with that. Uh, I also just realized that this needs to be the normal color. <laughs> and I think I can undo it. Fuck. Uh, let me just copy this and then I'm gonna undo. I think that's the same color, yeah? There we go. Okay, so it... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I haven't actually done anything to the normal map. Oh, thank God. I almost forgot to, like, save recursively here. I'm gonna just duplicate that and just lock it. Because, gosh damn, I, for almost, I almost forgot I need to have an extra copy of that. Uh, okay, let's also just save this as a project so that I can just, you know, have a peace of mind. Uh, a gun. There you go. Okay. Let's do, um, hang on, what would be a good move here? Uh, yeah, I think, I think painting the, the, the sort of straps here would be good. And you know what, just as a safety precaution, I'm going to separate the ropes as well, because I was about to just color, like, gradient map the entire thing, but you know what, that little scare actually kind of spooked me. I'm going to just quickly remove all the things. Oh, there we go. Okay, that should be everything. Uh, let's now gradient map this. Into a better color. There you go. I wanted something like this, where it's like a... It's still dark, but it's like a lighter tone. And maybe add like a little dark. But only for like the darkest parts, really. And then maybe do a hue adjust. Yeah, that looks way better. Mm. 
How does that they remove points? I just realized. I don't even know how to remove points. Jesus Christ, I'm making like 10 bajillion points. Because the only way so far is to just do that. Which is a bit annoying. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, let's do another round. Let's save that into another PNG. Save that as gun. And now we go back to Blender. And let's reload. Honestly, yeah, that looks pretty damn good. I love the color difference. That's so sick. This is a bit strange. What the fuck is that? What? Uh, hello? Wait, is it just missing geometry? What's going on here? Huh? Oh, because it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's missing it in the in the in the file because I, I made it transparent. Whoopsies. Okay, there you go. Okay, now it should show up. I was so confused. There you go. Oh shit! And it didn't uh it didn't include it on the the paint. Oh fuck. Oh that's not good. Uh what was this again? this part oh it's this whole section ah i didn't include it okay okay that's fine i probably should have saved the gradients if i was smart about it but i'm not smart so i just i'm gonna do that again <laughs> uh i'm just gonna copy this selection copy that to a new layer merge it Put that at the bottom there. And now... Uh, it should have everything uh, as the bone. It should have it selected. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's pra practically all the parts, really. Everything else is kind of extra. So now let's just do another gradient map for the bone. This is probably the only thing that we have gradient mapped like a bajillion times so far. Is there like last used? Yes! Thank God, but it's the one for the bone. I want the I want the color profile that I want for the not the bone, the rope. I want the one for the for the bone. So I'm gonna just adjust it real quick. Maybe make it a bit oopsies. Maybe make it a bit more yellow. There you go. Nice. Cool. Type. Poggers. Okay. Reload. There you go. Now everything's like nicely patched. Well, almost nicely patched. Seems like there's a big ass seam there. Which we need to probably fix. Weird. What a weird thing that happened here. It's like as if it's got flipped. Or something. Yeah, I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't know why this is... I don't know why this looks so weird. Weird. Alright, uh... Let's see. I'm gonna... Adjust the colors in Krita. Because, of course, this looks a bit ridiculous. So I'm going to basically merge all this into one layer. I'm going to group them first. Duplicate them. And then merge it. And now all I have to do is uh, I have to just erase the parts that I don't need. Uh, I'm going to probably use an airbrush for this. Um, and just sort of slowly peel away the uh, the last few parts just so that we get like just a nice a nice color change you know because that's really all we're looking for we're looking for like a this very stylized look to it 
where at the end of the day it's just extra there's really nothing to it uh we still still need those dark areas and if we had uku paint we could have painted on the shadows separately and then we could have just kept the shadows in and then not have to worry about this but no instead we have to worry about this now because uh, we don't have uku paint unfortunately please whoever developed uku paint please fix <laughs> please fix for four point of less thank you all right uh okay so now we have uh now we have that uh, we have most of the the like the details that we had last time so that's pretty good uh, I'm gonna go back I'm gonna also lower the opacity a bit like just a touch I might even go for like an overlay instead because that looks probably eh, no not really it doesn't look that good that would be a good option here Addition? Addition's nice, I guess. Like, color, maybe? Like, color. Color probably makes more sense, but it's like... I think I need, like, just a hint more of that lighting to go through. So I'm gonna go lighten, and I'm gonna go at, like, really low, right? Just so that I get that little bit of that tone coming through okay i think i'm happy with this so now when we go back to blender and we reload it's now a little bit more cohesive and it has all those like nice gradients of color that we want so i like it looks pretty sick i i i liked how this turned out this is probably one of my favorites so far on this series it looks good. It looks nice. Has some Q variation. I'm gonna fix this before we end this off because this is kind of pissing me off. Uh, so let's just mix this. Okay. Nope. Uh, but yeah, it, it looks pretty good. I think the one thing I will do before I leave is probably some highlights. Because that's kind of only it. Like I just need to add highlights and then that's it. And then I'll also probably work on the final render, just as a little bonus. So I'll do that just for you guys. I'll work on the final render that you'll see on the thumbnail, and uh, you know just how I approach comping this stuff. Uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> I love that there's just a big patch here that has nothing on it because it's not gonna be seen. Okay. Uh, cool, 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 cool. So now everything's at least a bit more patched up. Uh, I am tempted to go one more time on a with a highlights pass. Ooh, it's tempting. Ooh, it's tempting. I'll do it on Krita. I'll do it on Krita. So I'll save all images, right? I'll save this to to gun. I'll come back here. I'll open the gun image. Uh, I'll open the gun image externally. Because it's a new gun image. So I need to go here. As a new, open a new document. And now what I need to do is I need to duplicate this. And I need to add like a... Uh, a map range or something? I forgot what it is. It's like something that you use to like get the highlights of something. Uh, what is it? Map range? Map range. Adjust. Is it levels? I think it's levels. Yeah, it's levels. Uh, what did I use here last time? Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm getting it now. Okay. So the whole point is, is you're just adjusting the, the the lights and you want to get as crunchy as possible. And then you'll use that as a way to highlight uh, your stuff. There you 
go. Nice. Let's do a screen. Look at that. Got some nice, uh, nice lights. Pretty good. I kind of want to go over it with a oil paint filter. It might destroy some of the definition. You know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna copy this, duplicate, and I'm gonna flatten this. I'm gonna see how it looks with a with an oil paint filter. Cause if it looks really good, then I think I'm I'm clear. Yeah, it, it like blotches it. Yeah, it like blotches it, which is not exactly the look I'm going for. We'll try it. We'll see how it looks like on the actual model itself. But yeah, this looks a bit too painterly for me. We can add it as a texture, like as a like an overlay to the to the regular. So add it like as a you know just a small hint. But for now, let's actually test it with just the oil paint filter and see how this looks. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it removes all definition from it, which is not good. Okay, let's come back there and let's revert this change. Okay. Uh, and also, this is like extremely bright. So I need to like adjust the lighting here a little bit. Okay, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Oh. Alright, I'm back. Uh, my brother just come back, came back from uh, biking. That's pretty fun. Uh, let's go ahead and just here. Um, I'm gonna zoom in a bit more because I kind of want to see how this works. Yeah, it's like blotchy. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. So, that's fine. I think I'm also gonna just paint in the highlights here. Because I do see a way where I can just paint this in. So, I'll just, I'll just paint in the highlights that I need. There you go. Uh, go. So much faster to do in in Krita. Obviously, I mean it's a painting program, but man, difference is just insane. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's add some here. Like wisps of it. Because, you know, it has to be touching something. Like even a little bit. Edges here. Uh, let's add that. Uh, do we add any other highlights? Not really, no. The other ones are kind of like just extra. I don't really need to add highlights to them, really. Like this, maybe? Like, I, I'm gonna add, like, a little bit, but that's about it. Like, I don't really need to add too much, because this is already done. Like, I, I, I think I'm fairly happy with how this came out, especially for the span amount of time. Like, I only really spent, like, three hours on this, so... I, uh, I'm, I'm fairly happy with the result. Fairly happy. Uh, I also don't like how this is, like, blended. I might just blend that myself. Here. Uh, where is the blend brush? I did get this, which is, like, a cool little blending tool that I saw. Which is pretty cool. I don't know if this is 
gonna work. Uh, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> I think I just made it worse. If I'm, not, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Uh, I think it's fine. We'll just add like highlights and call it a day. Alrighty. Uh, save. Come back to Blender. Reload. Look at that. Ain't that a thing. Looks pretty good to me. It looks stylized. It looks good. I think some of the bleeding here is a little cringe. So I think I'm gonna fix those before we leave. But thank you so much for watching. If you've been watching for this long... This is the first time I've been commentating the entire time as well, so thank you for stopping by and like just sitting down with me. It's uh, it's been a pleasure commentating here. Let me know what else you want me to work on, and also what uh, what questions do you have? If you have any questions for me, leave them down below. Oh right, I need to probably smudge this to hell because uh, you know. I just need to smoothen the fuck out of this. Um, so I think I'll be right back. I need to like smoothen this before we leave. So I'm gonna just do that real quick. Just do a quick pass on everything and just make sure that everything's nicely blended. Gotta make sure I don't also destroy the form because this is it. This is the last step. So I just need to. I just need to polish. I don't know if I should also have the rendering stage as the final. Like the, the, the comp stage. i probably just do it on this video. Fuck it. I'm not gonna waste anyone's time to click on another video just so I can get that. Like, that doesn't really make sense. I think I'm just gonna do it on this video. Um, let's see. We're just trying to get rid of this like pixely look that it has because I think it came from Krita. So we need to try our best to remove that. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do this one. There you go. I love the color change. I'm not gonna lie. The, the I think this is this is the work. This is the reason why this is the workflow that professionals use, because it actually just leads to really good results. Like it just it just works. There's no there's no getting around it. It just works. It, it 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 gets you a nicely colored image. In fact, if I would have just kept it black and white, it probably would have looked even better. Because, you know, I I decided to color it. I probably muddied up the results even more. If I just kept it black and white, it probably would have been way better. So, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to definitely try this out again and try to make it more polished and just nicer. I don't know what to work on for the next time I texture paint something. Maybe I should work on like a... Uh, something a little bigger. So far I've done a tree, I did a, did a gun. I can make an axe. To make a person, but I'm really bad at those. I'm really bad at painting faces. Which is probably why I should be doing them, because, you know, to really get practice in, right? Okay.
All right. Goody goody gumdrops. Uh. Okay, this is probably the hardest one so far because we have to do quite a ton of blending to get this to work. Because I don't know what happened here, but it had some sort of artifact issue that it's decided to do. Which is not very fun. And uh, we'll just have to deal with it. Not too bad. Definitely not too bad. Okay. Uh... Alright, this is the part where I'm a bit scared of because I could just blend this, but I don't want to destroy the form that we already have built. So I'm a little bit scared of working on it. I'd have to take it slowly. But I'm impatient. And I like this to be finished now. See, I already, I already destroyed it. Oh my god. Okay. I think that's blended enough to a point where it actually doesn't matter if I blend it even further. Yeah. Uh, I can add, at the very last moment, a few touches of shadow. Just a touch, because it did lose a lot of the shadow information when it did the color change. I'm just gonna add just a tad bit more. Just to make it really pop, you know? Right in those little nooks and crannies. There. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, I think I'm going to smudge this. Uh, I think I have to pick up something to gate. Alright, I'm back. My brother forgot to pick something up. So, so. Something. Okay. Uh... Anything else I missed? Not really. I'll add attach more shadow here. Just a hair. A little bit. Won't hurt. And now I'm gonna just cover up the holes that can be seen in the mesh. Okay. Uh, blend, blend. There you go. Uh, okay. Bit more touch up on the bottoms of these things. Apple bottom jeans. I'm losing my mind slowly but surely if you can't tell. Okay, uh, now let's do another pass of this. Right there. There we go. And I don't think I need to work on the bottom actually. I think that looks good enough. And there you go! That is actually it. Uh... Now, would I have done a more work? Yes. 
do I want to? Not really. <laughs> I think this looks good enough for the state that it's in. I'm gonna go to Eevee and I'm gonna light this. We also now have light linking, which is really cool. Uh, so I'm gonna do 1080. Let's do uh, some lighting. Uh, I don't really know. I guess I'll light it the way that I painted it. So I'll just do like a orange. Actually, not really. I'm not feeling it. And let's add. Add that as like sort of just a key light. Then I'll add just some area lights. That should work. And then we'll color this like... Uh, like a tinge of green. And a bit too overexposed. Let's do less. I think the lights are a bit too overpowering. Okay, so this one's too bright. I just needed to add like a color. And then amp this color up, add like a blue to it or something, make it real small and just make it a rim light. Just do something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna do a uh, don't they have AGX now? Right, they have AGX. Punchy. A bit more color information. Not liking the view of this. There you go. Kind of want to accentuate the, the 3D nature of it, you know? There you go! Uh, Maybe a bit too contrasty, actually. Just maybe a touch bit too bright. Uh, bloom. Sure, we'll add that. Just a little touch. Okay. Looks pretty good to me. Let's give that a quick render. And then we will copy this real quick. And make a new from clipboard, which is pretty damn useful on Krita. Uh, unfortunately, it does this weird thing where it like <laughs> it would it would do that for some reason. I don't know why it just does it. And now we just paint the background, which is pretty easy. So we just go like this. Uh, we uh, get an airbrush. Uh, there you go. I'm gonna try to stick to the reference where they use like a more grayish thing. And then it's like a light vignette. I also try not to ad adjust the model too much because if I add any changes to the model, then, you know. I kind of want it to remain in its 3D nature, if you know what I mean. Let's 
do a shadow and just sort of imitate it as if it is on the ground here. So we'll do like a do like a small bit of shadow here. It looks like really bad shadow, I know. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of a cheating. Where it's actually all intentional. If I just crank the shit out of that blur, it looks like just a regular drop shadow. Wow. <laughs> uh, it probably still looks like shit, but it looks less like shit to me. Uh, that's okay. Oh, we'll lower the opacity. I'll probably adjust the colors. That's probably the most, like, different thing I'll do for it. Like, for the most part. I'll do, like, a quick HSL adjust, and that's prob that's about it. Uh, maybe amp up the saturation just a touch. And, uh... That about does it. I kind of want to add a bit of a hue on this, so we'll add just a slight touch. A slight, slight touch of just yellow color. Just a slight touch. There you go. Alrighty! Well, there you have it, folks! The gun, skull gun, stylized gun, made in Blender, hand-painted. Uh, so I'll put all the references and the links in the description if you're interested. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any ideas of what I will do next, let me know. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.